Yeah, Colonel, I heard you mention early on in your remarks there just a moment ago about the violence we're seeing against Jewish people here in America. And we do have that elderly Jewish man uh, who was killed recently at a protest, a pro-Israel protest that he was attending in California. And they're investigating it potentially as a hate crime they haven't designated as such yet. But it makes me think back to Charlottesville in 2017 and the outrage that we heard as so many, uh, so much outrage, so much media coverage. And I just wonder, we don't hear the same level of outrage that we did about Charlottesville with this elderly Jewish man from our White House, from our elected officials. I just wonder what, you know, what is your take on that? What, what do you make of the White House, uh, their reaction and, and or the, their non-reaction? Is that fueling some of this? It feels like it's kind of bubbling over on our own soil right now. Well, the White House and the White House public spokes lady are clearly ignoring these facts, the fact of this murder out west, this Jewish person who was murdered at a demonstration. I scanned the media. I saw zero coverage of it by the mainstream media, ABC, NBC, etc. But there was extensive coverage of an individual who was hit in a hit and run who was of Arab descent at a, I believe it was at Stanford campus. And it was highlighted everywhere. That is connected, in my view, to the White House focusing on starting an, an anti-Islamophobia campaign and directing government agencies to move forward on that effort when there's been an actual decline in efforts, hate crimes, and violence directed at the Muslim community in the United States. And that's a fact. But we've seen such a dramatic increase, not just of hate crimes and threats, but the intimidation, harassment that is unconscionable directed at young people on campuses.